Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to take you through how to take Photobeat dry matter samples using this Cora that Agricom's developed um, and it's just a really quick, easy, very accurate way to take samples within your paddock. The best way to take these Photobeat core samples is to do it while they're still in the ground. That way you can get through multiple beat in a really quick amount of time. And you want to be taking anywhere between 15 to 20 samples um, from each bulb in a row. So you're capturing those small bulbs and those big bulbs to capture all that variation of dry matter percentage. So if we zoom in here, we want to take, put the cora in this top shoulder of the bulb and you're going at a, at a cross section through the bulb in that direction. So it's all in one motion, so if you put the core into the bulb, get the leaf out of the way, twist as you're moving down, and then twist as you're moving up, and there's your core. So it's really important to take a nice clean core uh, when we're taking these samples, because dirt, mud, water affects the dry matter percentage. So when you send these samples away, they need to be nice and clean like this one, um, and you just pop them into a snap lock bag like this and send them away. Shut them up and send them away. Cores that aren't okay are ones like this one here. If you've got quite a bit of leaf at the top, just make sure you break that leaf off and put that core in the bag. Um, other cores, such as this one here, um, went right through the bulb and came out the other side with a bit of mud and dirt on there. Um, either just wipe that off like that and then that's fine. Um, and then if you drop your core in the dirt or you've got a really wet muddy day, um, try not to drop them in the ground or try and give them a good clean before putting them in the sample bag. The research we've conducted shows that the larger the bulb generally the lower the dry matter percentage and the smaller the bulb generally the higher the dry matter percentage. So it's really important when taking core samples you take at least 15 to 20 different bulbs within the paddock. So you're capturing all of that variation between your large and small bulbs which can be up to 8 and 9% variation within the same paddock and the same variety.